South Park Season 21, Episode 5, is titled Hummels and Heroin, and they poke fun at the opioid epidemic in the United States. But, did they go too far with this one? Stick around and find out as I review this episode. Another drug overdose? Most likely. Percocet and Oxycontin found wrapped in his cheesecloth. Prescription drugs, but with no prescription. You guys know where all these illegal meds are coming from? Most likely from the prisons. Whenever there's a drug epidemic, you can usually trace it back to people who've been thrown away by society and forgotten about. What's up, everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And sometimes I like to pull in pop culture and discuss the way addiction or mental illness is portrayed in TV shows and movies and the news and all that kind of stuff. So I will be reviewing this episode. I'm a fan of South Park and they're talking about my jam, so why not? So if you are a South Park fan and you have not watched this episode, Hummels and Heroin, be careful because there will be spoilers ahead. So the first question, we have to ask ourselves is, did this episode go too far making fun of the opioid epidemic? Now, something I need to talk about real quick is like when I came into sobriety, my soul was dead. Nothing was funny when people smiled, when people laughed, I was just angry. Like, why are they so happy? This isn't funny. And I ended up getting my sense of humor back. Like, that's why you always see me smiling and I'm always in a great mood. And Here's the thing, um, me personally, comedy is in its own different realm for me. I will never be hurt or offended. As long as it came from the intention of trying to be funny, I will never be offended by it. You can really tell when things are trying to be offensive and trying to make people mad. And South Park is an, a show that's known for pushing boundaries, talking about subjects and making fun of them. So. In no way, shape, or form do I think anybody should be offended by this episode. So if you are, like to each their own, but it's meant to be funny and we gotta laugh about this stuff. If you're in recovery, you know one of the best ways that we overcome our addiction and live these better lives is being able to laugh about it. Like. People are amazed when they come into a 12-step meeting or into our rehab center and we're joking around about addiction. So you gotta have fun with this thing, stay clean. I wanted to do a review on this episode because they talk about the opioid crisis in a way that a lot of people really don't, but it connected with me because this was my experience. So basically the episode takes place um, with uh, Stan going to visit his grandpa at an old folks home. Um, they are birthday party performers who have been dying of opioid overdoses from prescription drugs. Um, kind of parallel to our celebrities who die, but in the kids' world, it's these little entertainers like Chuck E. Cheese and what's their name, like Pepper the Pig, something like that. Anyways, but they're dying of these uh, opioid overdoses. Turns out the old folks' home is the one dealing the drugs out there. So the episode starts with Chuck E. Cheese performing at a birthday party and overdosing in front of the kids on the stage. And you come to find out that the old folks home is the one distributing these drugs and they're doing this by smuggling through uh, knitted pillows and it's pretty wacky. But anyways, like something that a lot of normies don't know or maybe even some addicts don't know. Like for me personally, like when you think of a drug addict, when you look at this, this drug addict guy, like let, like, all honesty, like, I have anxiety problems. I used to be afraid of everybody and everything. When I started getting deep in my addiction, I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna have to deal with the shadiest people and da 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 da. Eh, wrong. Like, 99% of my drug dealers were old people. Like, no joke. Like, it was grandmas and grandpas and stuff like that. Um, side note, that's one of the reasons why they're cracking down so much when you go see your doctor and pain management clinics because I was buying a lot of my drugs from older people who had pain issues and just didn't take their medications. They would sell them to me, make some money off of it. It's funny how this episode actually touches on that because it's very true. Like one of the things that was great about my addiction, like I didn't have to worry about like owing some like gang member money or something crazy like that. Like, like I owed 
uh, Betty some money and she wasn't going to come chase after me, probably because she wasn't even allowed to drive due to her estate. Like, it was a very safe addiction in that realm, um, aside from the fact that I almost, you know, killed myself due to drug addiction. But uh, this is something that happens all the time. But anyways, the episode's funny because, like, the old folks home is run like a prison and there's this one lady who's running the show and she's like the head honcho and everybody's scared of her but she does have old lady farts and she just like farts constantly and it's it's pretty funny so part of the episode revolves around this kid named Marcus Preston. It was actually his birthday party in which Chuck E. Cheese overdosed and died at his party. And he goes on a mission to stop this opioid crisis because it's killing so many of their entertainers and he's trying to find out who's behind it and what's happening and he's going around and he like even goes to uh the morgue where they're doing the autopsy and stuff and it's great because the episode ends with this ladies and gentlemen my name is marcus preston i have some questions <laughs> Yeah, he's busting into some like pharmaceutical convention and he's about to uh, take them down because they're the ones feeding these drugs to the old people who are then distributing them on the streets. And it kind of coincides with the video I did that you can check out in the info card of that 60 Minutes episode about how the government and pharmaceutical distributors and pharmacy companies are kind of in bed together and they are pushing these drugs, these very harmful, dangerous drugs out to the American public. But anyways, I'm glad I got to do a review of this episode. It was hilarious. If you're into, uh, you know, this kind of humor and if you don't get offended very easily, it's awesome. By far, my favorite part of this episode was the acapella quartet with the kids where they were doing like modern songs in this version to entertain the old people. So I will leave you with this. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours. Damn right. It's better than yours. My hot milkshake. Anyways, if you like these types of videos, if you like when I bring in these movies or TV shows and talk about addiction and mental illness, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave comments down below. If you know of any videos or TV shows that you think that I should touch on, leave them in the comments down there. But if you are new here, click right below this little box, that little round subscribe button. I'm always making videos about addiction, about mental health, about news involving addiction and mental health. So keep coming back and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.